Hey, what's going on? And welcome to The Positive Spin, where we put the positive spin on your everyday entertainment news. David Imonitier and Chanel Cooper Seitz are getting a divorce. Chanel asked David, where is my money? This is months later and she has not gotten her money. Find out why this could be a good thing. <laughs> Good people, Jamie Alexander here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe, you know how that goes. I'm getting my YouTuber lingo together because you know your girl's trying to get that 4,000 hours, 1,000 subscribers. So if you like what you see, subscribe and let's talk about things that grow, evolve and transform us as people as that is what is important to me. So whether I'm talking about entertainment news or just got a gem that I'm dropping for you, it's gonna be something that helps you out. So today we are talking about Chanel Cooper Sykes and David Imonitier. We know they're getting a divorce for the or have gotten one papers are signed I don't know how that all works, but either way they're not together anymore and in my last video I shared my opinion on Chanel Cooper Sykes putting her video out asking David where is my money which I think is a just question for somebody who has a court of law on paperwork that they're supposed to be paying you $50,000 a month starting on this day so um i saw an updated video of hers and she has still not gotten her money y'all so as much as i feel for her the bigger lesson in this is and this is where i admire her is god is her provider okay and so this is what i want to talk about so yes he didn't pay the money we could say he's this he's that but we can all stand to learn something here we have got to learn to put our problems in the hand of the real provider at times because if she wasn't a believer or didn't believe that god had her back in this situation she could very well still be going off on social media spending her time energy and resources taking him to court she could be flipping out tripping and all this but a woman of god and somebody who is really fighting to be on the path that is more righteous more full and more trusting in the lord is going to say Here's the clip of what she had to say about that. <laughs> no, I have not gotten my money yet, um, but that is okay. You want to know why? Thank God. <laughs> Thank God that God is my supply and he's not. So all is well. Uh, what needed to be done was done. And so I have given it to God. And in the meantime, thank God for your own business and your own investment accounts and your own life and your own stuff and your own you. And in the meantime, God will handle all of the other things. So no, I haven't gotten it, but we can still ask, where is my money? Where is my money? <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt that says, where is my money? I really am, I mean, that was just so classic. Okay, so again, I really honor this, you guys. We have got to get to the space where when things are out of our hands, we're comfortable with putting in the hands of God. That doesn't mean you're surrendering, doesn't mean you're not gonna get your money, doesn't mean that things are not gonna go in your favor. However, when is it the time to shift our thought process from, I need to do this, I need to do that, to, you know what, let me release this and let the Most High take care of it. I think that's highly beneficial. I think we could learn a lot from her with that because at the end of the day, God really is our provider. Um, I think about my own journey where I would say the most stress that I have caused myself was because I was trying to do everything. I don't put my hands on the wheel and you know we say Jesus take the wheel I was the one like nah Jesus I got this let me drive I know where I'm going I know how everything's going to turn out I know if I do x y and z I'm going to get this and it caused me a lot of stress to live my life that way and it wasn't until I had the aha moment that oh my god a lot of this stuff that's going on in my life is because of fear and mistrust I fear that God won't, I was in the space where I was fearing God won't take care of me because a lot of the times what God wants to do in our life doesn't look like what we think it should look like. I always tell people, think about the last year or two. What have you prayed for that you actually received, but you have not acknowledged that you received what you asked for because it didn't look like what you thought it would. 
For example, in 2017, I was so proud, you know, before that I had bought this car, you know, did this and that, whatever. Things started to happen with my car. Um, I was getting tickets. I was having such a hard time keeping up with things. I remember one day I went to an audition. I drove my car. The closest parking spot I could find was four blocks away. So I'm in heels trying to get to my audition, didn't bring extra shoes, whatever, walk all the way to the place and I left my headshot in the doggone car. So I had to walk all the way back in heels, then walk all the way, and I was like, Lord, I need a chauffeur. I need somebody to pick me up from my doorstep, drop me off where I need to go, get me and take me back. I can't do it no more with the parking, LA, the traffic, the this, the that. I'm about to pull all my hair out, right? So some time goes by, I'm still like getting tickets on the car, all this stuff is going on, and it turns out that my car the engine stopped working and was having an issue that basically cost more than the car. And of course, this engine issue happened two months after the extended warranty that I paid for was expired. Two months. And in my mind, I was thinking, but you couldn't, you couldn't do this two months ago? Like, so there was a part of me that got pissed, <laughs> obviously, because I done wasted all kinds of money. I had to do an involuntary repossession because I was not about to pay the remaining $8,000 on a car that I couldn't drive that wasn't worth no more than $2,000. And so it just became a big mess. And in that moment, I had to think about what do I stand to learn? How can I grow from this moment? And if God uses all things to happen for our greater good, show me the greater good in this. And it's very interesting because a peace came over me. And what I realized is God literally gave me exactly what I asked for. I Uber everywhere now, okay? And I spend about $350 a month on Uber. Now let's, $350 on Uber, that might sound like something, but let's think this, car note, gas, insurance, tickets, repairs, keeping the car clean. Like we already passed $350 right there. So I eliminated stress. I have my own personal chauffeur. His name is Lyft or Uber, whichever one you want. And when I need to go somewhere, someone picks me up from my doorstep like the queen I am <laughs> and takes me right where I need to go and drops me off and I don't have to worry. I have been so much more stress-free, um, debt-free, because them tickets was eating me up, y'all. And if you're from LA and know anything about parking, especially in Koreatown, There'd be times I drive around for 45 minutes and not be able to go home because I can't find anywhere to park my car. So all that to say is I could have took that situation and been mulling over why things don't work out, why the car this, why didn't I get that? I spent all the money, I did everything right and blah, blah, blah. Or I could realize, Jamie, you got exactly what you prayed for in that day where you needed a chauffeur. Now that's what I have. So all that to say, Chanel Cooper Sykes was able to find the resources she needed in her investments and other things that she has going on, her thriving business. And I believe 100% that she will get everything that she's coming for and more because of the situation that looks a little ugly right now. So what I love about her tribe, um, cause I'm new to her. I have heard her name before, but I, I've never bought a course. I don't listen to her speak. I'm just now getting into her. And this is a her that I can relate to. So I don't know about the other stuff because I think it's cool, but you know, everybody has their own flavor. But her story and vibe right now is relatable for me. And I love the support that her tribe is showing her. It's very reflective of who she is on the inside. So it's like, maybe she didn't get the money from the man yet. That's on him. It's going to unfold, but she does have a supportive tribe because she's a woman of God and has been through enough to know how to think. She's at peace, moved into a new place, and the money situation will unfold how it does. So all that to say, sometimes we need to let go, take our hands off the wheel, and literally, in my case, I had to let the whole wheel go. <laughs> The whole wheel, the engine, the car, the whole nine. Um, and trust God. So if you feel like you're in a situation that just seems impossible, unfair, you got to fight too hard, it's too draining and it's just too much for you, I challenge you to pull back from that situation, look from a bird's eye view and see where your blessing and God's truth is in it for you and where you can let go. 
because we're not supposed to be here stressing, bogged down, mulling over all of these things that are going to work themselves out. And this is where we have to believe the word of God. All things happen for our greater good. So it's about the choice and seeing that. Don't let your emotions overtake you to the point you feel like you have to put everything on your back and handle it all because God didn't drop the ball. I felt like that before. I didn't really had conversations with God like you left me hanging. Here it is, the almighty, the creator of all things and little old me going to tell him how to do his job. Nah, it's my job to get in alignment with his mindset as much as I can. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. However, he does give us sufficient instruction to survive this crazy, hurtful, wild ride. This world, this journey, it's not easy. So I'm definitely not trying to sit here and tell you like, don't worry, it's all good. Like there's going to be worries. There's going to be stresses. But what I'm challenging you to do is find the good, find the peace, find the answered prayer so you can go on and keep the grays out these little wrinkles i'm not doing it okay i'm not about to be stressing over something that is going to be handled and the resources that you need will come in to undergird whatever it is you were worried about losing or feel like you can't fix so if you enjoyed this message please let me know below i'd love to hear a story of yours where you're like you know what this is what I asked for. And it didn't go down the way I thought it would, but it went down and I'm good and I'm grateful for it. I'd love to hear the story. So comment below again, if you think this message will bless someone and you know, someone who your friend is on the, in your ear and on text, like, girl, what am I going to do? Share this message with her and chat or him. Okay. And encourage them to find the blessing and to release the emotions and to move forward in faith and trust. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this, please share it if it won't hurt you. And um, yeah, until next time, peace.